Coming from the set of the Erin and Evan production, Lady Month production, production, and this is the cattle what you have to say, sir. Dad's a little warmth, I think. Uh, Here we are. He's under the car. He's under the car. He's under the car. His name is Daryl. <laughs> we don't know. It's just some random cat. His name is Daryl. Shut up. <laughs> Cully. Oh, I have an idea for the track markers. For this one. Okay. <laughs> like what the fuck or something? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Aaron currently is trying to find his old cat friend from the neighbors. He looks like a total dumbass. Got a new cat with me. About to make a movie. Let's do this. Hi guys, uh, I'm Aaron, and I'm gonna show you how we did the creeper effect. Um, so I'm kind of stuff, stuffily, snuffle, snuffleupagusly. Uh, I'm a bit sick. So, besides the point, uh, we're gonna talk about the creeper for a little bit. Uh, so the creeper, I modeled and uh, Evan textured. So uh, I made all these little cubes and stuff, and then Evan put on the pictures on the faces. And um, yeah, so we have this light here shining on the creeper, uh, just to give it a little, well, just to match the scene a little bit better. Uh, we have this four to catch the like kind of shadows from him uh, and yeah so I'm gonna talk a bit about how I rendered this out uh, so I took everything in the scene and I divided it into three layers right here uh, the uh, diffuse layer which is basically just the color and the light no no shadows no like highlights and or anything like that just just completely plain diffuse uh, and then I also rendered out the specular which for some reason he's not in that layer I don't know why but uh, which is like the highlights and stuff like that and then the ambient occlusion which is like uh, here let me show you really quick I'm just gonna get to this alright so yeah here's the diffuse which is basically just the color it's all blurry for some reason but in After Effects I sharpened it uh, and then the specular, you can barely see it, it's right there, uh, but that's like the highlights. I didn't really need to export that one, but I just did for the hell of it. Uh, and then the ambient occlusion, which is, as you can see, kind of like the depth shadows or the, like, the light casting onto the ground. It's hard to explain, but it makes sense when you see it. Uh, so yeah, I composited those in After Effects and came out with this video file, I can turn down the volume, uh, yeah, so this video file is tracked onto the footage, and there's the creeper. <laughs> 